Welcome. Today I'm going to talk about how to clean out some alcohol. Again, I've done this a few times, but this is on a much larger scale. I now have this wash and cure station, and you can put a lot of alcohol in here. I usually do just little sandwich baggies in an ultrasonic machine, and those are easy to clean out later. I just switch out baggies. But what happens when you've got a giant 7,000 milliliter container of alcohol that you need to filter out and you need to change. This is something I wish that manufacturers of these machines would think about and do. If they haven't already, I haven't seen any. If there are, some of them I'm sure will tell me. But it's nice to be able to clean your prints and cure your prints, but they don't ever address taking care of the mess afterwards. Like it would be nice if, if this was kind of built into this where there was UV lights to cure out your used uh, resin in your alcohol and then some kind of a filtration system to filter it out and make an easy way to clean it. Anyway, I've tried taking this, um, just shining it with some UV light to cure that and then trying to dump it from this giant container into, into a plastic container through some cheesecloth that proves very difficult, and I had to get several pours to clean it out to what I was happy with, to be able to reuse again just to clean prints with. Uh, so after doing some looking around, because I don't want to have to do that every, it's almost every week, week and a half that I have to clean this out, because I use this on average three or four times a day, every day, for at least five days a week, right? So I use it a lot. I don't want to have to go through what I went through trying to filter through cheesecloth with funnels or at first I tried putting a cloth over this and, and pouring it through but the whole thing sank in and, and the parts that are cured, the blobby parts, takes a long time to have to uh, drain out anyway. I want something to be fast and efficient. went online and I found a small little pump. It's just a little transfer pump powered by USB and it has a little bit of a filter on here. It's it's decent size, but um, I think I'm gonna try just to be safe and put a little bit of cheesecloth maybe on this on on the tubing on this end if it'll stay in there when I put it in. But in theory, I'll be able to just set that in there and filter most of it out pretty efficiently and quickly. So that's the hopes. And have this kind of be in between there, just as a, a additional filter when it comes in. I don't really want to jam up this motor first thing. But if nothing else, that should help to make it a little bit finer. So I have a coffee filter on this end, and then I have uh, some cheesecloth on this end. I designed and 3D printed a little tray real quick that I'm going to use that has cheesecloth on the top, and I just stuck some coffee filters on the inside of it. So it should filter the big stuff through the cheesecloth and then slowly drip through the coffee filters. And that's what I'm hoping we'll, I'll be able to lay out all this cured resin on the top of that and let it just slowly drain at the end. I have this held on with a rubber band, <laughs> which isn't all that tight, probably won't work all that great. So instead of just putting it down in there, I'm gonna try and keep it kind of above the level and then just slowly drop it down as I filter it out. And we'll see how that goes. It's already a lot clearer.
what may be the best way to do it is to cure it for a long period of time at the end of the day, let it sit, and then pump through and filter this. And that looks okay, that's usable for another time. So now with this leftover that I can't quite get with the pump, I will pour into this other thing into another tub. And I only had this about half full. If I had the whole thing all the way, this is definitely a lot faster way of doing this. And this one's gonna take longer, obviously, so for this, it might not get added until after, but I can dump that back in and start washing again immediately. Just show you all the all the cured stuff that is mostly settled at the bottom. Kind of looks like wet lint <laughs> from a lint trap. Just let it sit and slowly filter out. I actually didn't do this on purpose when I designed it. I didn't measure anything, but it does perfectly fit in there. And I can actually just put the lid on this and let it sit. And then I'll put the other filter stuff in and I can just start using it now. So for now, unless I can find a better way, that's probably going to be how I'm going to do it now. So that's the fastest way to get back up and running. So just wait for your used stuff. Make sure you cure everything really well. Um, and then let it sit overnight so that this settles to the bottom. You can use a pump or something to filter it from the top down, which is easier than pouring it. Because sometimes when you pour it, you know, it's going to get the little pieces and shift it all around in there. And then when you get down to the bottom stuff, then you can just filter it. That way you have the majority of your alcohol ready to use again. So we got pretty close. That's with most of what was filtering out from the very bottom. After a print, this is what's left. We'll let that sit in there for a little bit longer. But most everything I've already poured out of there, just barely. So about that much left. Once that's strained out pretty good, then I'll cure that and throw that away. I hope that's been helpful to you, give you some idea of how to more efficiently or quickly, if you have large quantities of alcohol, how to clean it out and be able to reuse some of it. And until next time, go clean some more prints.